Alright, so before I take it apart, it's a good idea to clean it. It's been sitting there for a while, it's kind of dusty. If you're watching this video, you've probably got a power issue on your Model 12 and you're a little frustrated like I was. Uh, don't fret, there seems to be a solution. Um, in my particular case, the issue seemed temperature related. If it was cold, it wouldn't turn on very well at all. It took many flicks of the switch, or in some cases, you just turn it on and let it warm up, and it would turn itself on the rest of the way when it felt like it. Reading forums, searching the internet, found out they say if you change the standby switch, you can probably fix this. However, I'm still a little skeptical or suspicious that that was the fix, but we'll get to that. Oh. You gotta take the back off to get to the switch. The switch is kind of glued in, it's pretty tough to get out. Some people said they were able to just pop it off the back wall. I'm assuming they're pretty lucky. I tried and it didn't work. I just put a scratch in the paint. So what I did was I went back to the dealership where I bought my Tascam and let them know I had a video of what it was doing so they could believe me. And it turns out I was just out of warranty, of course, of course, when this started happening. About a year after I got it. But that's okay, they uh, contacted Tascam on my behalf and let them know what was happening and Tascam was kind enough to send out a replacement switch once I identified the part that I felt was the culprit. So I had to do some research and some digging and that's what I found out was likely the culprit, at least a good place to start. So I'm trying to focus the camera here so you can see the blue connectors and how deeply hidden the switch is beneath the circuit board. It does just push out, but it is glued in as well as compression fit. You can see the red and black leads to the power connector from the switch. I found it looked a little lopsided and after further inspection, it seems loose. Not the easiest place to wig your, wiggle your finger in there, but you get there. So I wiggle it around and it doesn't go on any better than it is, but it seems loose. The Molex itself just seems a little bit loose. Um, so if this problem comes back or if you don't have a switch, I would recommend just pulling it apart anyway and taking a look at this connector. Look for cold solder joints and see if yours is as flimsy as mine. I took it apart and I bent the pins and I put it back together and that may have been the true fix. However, I did replace the switch in this video as you'll see. So what I'm showing you here is the switch existing seems to be working perfectly fine. When it's on you get a short, when it's off it's open. What you didn't see on camera is I took a magnifying glass and looked close at the solder joints. They seemed fine to me. The only thing that seemed off a bit was the Molex was not a tight fit on the power. So you gotta take the screws out on the MIDI and you gotta take all the little nuts off at the plastic threaded washers. And the circuit board will just gently pull out. So again, if you don't have a switch, if you didn't get one, I'd be curious to see if you just open it up, tighten up the Molex and put it back together. Perhaps your problem would go away. The Molex is the white connector that connects the power to the board from the standby switch. So again, I'm just trying to give you a little close up here of what it is inside there, what it looks like. After a lot of fighting and cursing, I was able to get it out. It's pretty tight and the glue makes it extra tough. Uh, I missed pulling off the first connector again, 
and it was a bit frustrating, as you'll see on my attempt with the second one. I have a Belden screwdriver with a bent tip. I suggest you find something similar. Eventually, it will agree to let go. Once you got the new switch on, you can just go ahead and pop it right back in. Make sure you notice where the dot is and put it the same way it was before. I believe the dot goes towards the bottom. There's the old one. I'll give you a close up. If you guys can get anything useful off here to try and order a generic. Tascam again was kind enough to send one out. It took about six months but it was worth the wait. I was pretty patient. And even after I got it, I hang on to it for a couple months before I did the video. So probably like yours, my task cam was not turning on. I tried to flick the switch a million times. Thought there was some trick if I unplugged the power or just left it on, but it turns out to me I think it is just a bad connection somewhere and it's temperature related. I've had mine replaced now for a few days and it hasn't done it again. It's turned on every time and the problem seems to have gone away like when it was new. Be very gentle, the copper on the back for grounding is very soft. Make sure you uh, pull the one lead out like I didn't do, and you won't have to do it twice. I did manage to get it out after the fact with a little bit of uh, wrestling, but it came. Make sure you fit on all the washers, the threaded washers, and power washer and nut loosely first before you tighten them up just so you can get those two midi screws in which seem to be rather snug in the plastic and you'll get everything to line up nice just yeah, take your time you don't want nothing to break and double check that everything is tight this is where I realized I didn't get the cord routed the way I seen initially. Uh, with some coercing, it agreed to uh, relocate. <laughs> Didn't seem like it would matter either way, however, I'm a little fussy. I want things to be as they were. So careful with the two brass screws, especially the one on the brass plate. Don't over tighten it. So this may not be the fix for you, I'm really hoping it is. But let me know in the comments if you uh, found another fix or if you noticed um, I'm missing something or doing something wrong. I'm here just resetting the dials. I put it back, plugged the power in already, plugged in the USB-C, and this is the first initial power up. Boom. So it's cold right now, still in the basement. It worked right away. Two more times, it is still turned on perfectly fine. Thank you.